Okay, so this is um, going to be the anthromosuccinamide uh, bromination of the benzoic position here, and um, this is going to be um, a radical reaction. You can see it's initiated through heat or light. Okay, so uh, what we'll do is you guys remember single electron transfers for radical reaction, right? So bond hemolysis, things like that. Okay, uh, the first thing you need to know um, is the structure of MBS. So I'm going to erase because now that we know what we're getting to, right? So NBS has a particularly labile bond, and it's this NBR bond. Uh, remember what we talked about earlier about um, or, or, orbital overlap between big atoms and small atoms? Right? And so they're going to have a bad kind of orbital overlap there. And remember, bromine is so big that it doesn't mind really being by itself, okay? Not to mention that you've got these electron withdrawing groups, alpha to the nitrogen there, okay? So what will happen is when you take this compound, MBS, and you subject it to heat or light, um, a small, very, very small percentage of it will bond homolyze, okay? So for those of you who don't remember what bond homolysis is, it means that one electron goes one way and the other electron goes the other way. Okay. And again, this doesn't happen to any appreciable extent, but because uh, radicals are so reactive, Once this occurs, the reaction will progress. Okay, so remember that's your initiation step there. Okay? So what we're going to recall, if you really if you recall from our discussion last time, is that benzylic um, hydrogens or benzylic protons are particularly labile due to the fact that there's a lot of resonance structures um, that you can make if you um, make a radical at that position, okay? So um, there's a variety of mechanisms uh, that you can imagine. The most common one is to think of actually two BRs coming back together, making BR like this, so that's the first step, okay? And then this BR has come from another one of these, okay? And then what will happen here is you'll have the next step reacting this, again, with light or heat, right, to bond hemolysis again. So you can think of it stopping here and using that BR, or you can do this, because this is going to produce the same thing, two BR radicals, okay? So either way you want to look at it, I would suggest just stopping here. The only reason I mention this is because if you look at the literature, right, they're going to talk about this, and you might be as confused as to why they're doing it, okay? For me, I don't really mind too much if you just stick with this guy here and start the reaction, okay? So, can I erase this part here? So this is the guy we're going to be reacting with, this bromine atom, right, which is a radical, okay? And we've got that benzylic hydrogen that's easy to abstract. So we've got that radical there. This is going to be a propagation step, okay? We're propagating from a radical to another radical. So like that. And remember, remember bond hemolysis, right? This is only one electron. You've got to show the other electron, like that. Now I'll leave it to you guys to, uh, draw the resonance structures 
of this benzylic radical. In fact, we'll do we'll do some of those later. You know what I'm saying? But um, I would like you to justify why this thing in your own head is fairly stable relative, okay? Relative to like a primary radical or a secondary. Well, anyways, remember, we, from that other step, we made another BR radical, right? So we had two BR radicals. Okay, so here, with that, we're also making HBR. But remember, we talked about two NBSs, you know, breaking apart, then the two bromines coming together, then those two bromines splitting back apart, right? So if you think about all of that, we still really have another bromine atom, or this radical species. Okay. What this is going to do, it's going to do your termination step there. Association at energy is very low, if you will. So the other NPS molecule right, will um, react. this reaction like this, and then you've got your two BR radicals again that are going to do that coupling and then breaking apart, okay? So again, this seems, this part of the mechanism really isn't as crucial to getting your product because, of course, what are we going to get here? We're just going to get this um, succinamide. And, like we said, the two BR atoms <coughs> that are radicals that will couple together. And then produce this thing after light shines on them and break apart. Okay? So is everybody cool with this mechanism? Are there any questions about it? Man, we really just did get the edge there. Again, I'm not really so concerned with you guys thinking about, you know, breaking apart and coming back together. It's just, I want you to understand that it's this thing that's doing the initial hydrogen abstraction, and then the other one that's coming and being the, you know, termination step, okay? 
Any questions on this guy?